today I'm going to show you my thingy and the cup I sit it on. I have no idea what it's called, but it's the piece that comes out from the side of a roll of printer paper on very large printers. And I'm going to place it on top of my little cup and then I'm going to pour paint over it and see what happens. It should be fun. I like watching all the new ideas that people use for their paint pouring. And so today I have got several different colours. This one is navy blue and has some iridescence in it. Uh, the mix is blue paint I had left over with some black. Uh, most of the paints that I use are mixed rather than uh, in, in straight colours out of a tube. This one is sky blue. Uh, it was slightly darker. I added some white to it and some silver to, to give it a bit of metallic colour. And my next colour is ultramarine blue uh, with some silver added to it as well and some uh, gel gloss pouring medium as the colour was a matte colour rather than a glossy one. And this colour here, of course, doesn't need much explanation. It's just titanium white with nothing else added. And this one here is uh, phthalo blue. Uh, I don't think from memory I added anything to it other than some gloss medium. And the last one here is powder blue. And that one is also has nothing added to it, but was a very cheap paint. Um, and all my paints are mixed with two cups, my, my pouring medium, which is two cups of glue to one cup of water. My black is just the regular lamp black from the Reeves paint that I buy here in New Zealand. And uh, yes, just finishing off with a little bit of white here to, uh, yeah. I'll be adding a little bit more white to this cup uh, so that I've got some extra white to put around the edges. Uh, and then that will allow the paint to flow a little bit more freely and give me just a little bit more extra paint to work with. I love the colours that are coming out already. Uh, this is all trial and error for me, so I don't know exactly how uh, the my thingy is going to work. Uh, if anybody knows what the this end of a roll of paper is called, please put it in the comments below. I've asked several relevant people. Uh, my next option would be to contact Hewlett Packard as it comes from the paper of one of their printers. Right, time for me to lift the thingy off the cup that it's sitting on. The little cup, by the way, is just the lid of a cocktail shaker, which I have been experimenting with as well for my painting. Oh, there we go. You can see the colours a lot better now. Uh, where I crisscrossed with the powder blue, of course, the uh, pattern has come out a little bit shorter, so... I'm going to be using my Lazy Susan, which is under my paint panel there, to turn my picture around and around and, and uh, spin it out. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the shorter parts of the black leaf type pattern. And I'm just putting a little bit of white in the middle. Uh, I want to have a white centre, but we'll see what happens with that. around and it's, yeah. I'm just going to add some white to the edges of the painting here so that I can bring the pattern down over the sides uh, and hopefully help it to flow a little bit better into the spaces it's not going. I've decided to put a little bit more colour into the what I call possible flower petals. 
uh, so I'm adding some turquoise lines along each one to see what will happen then when I spin it. Uh, so I would like to get a little bit more colour uh, into that central piece rather than just the black and white. So I've noticed just giving it a small turn that the turquoise colour doesn't want to travel down very easily so I'm going to use a popsicle stick here to help the colour go down the petals. The canvas I'm using is a 10 inch by 10 inch deep sided uh, which I would pre prefer to have a round canvas but I had this one uh, handy not being used so I thought I'd try doing this pattern for the first time on this small canvas and uh, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. Not too fast on the middle though, so I've decided to see if I can do some sort of a pattern in the middle uh, just to give it a little more natural look rather than just a blob of white paint in the middle of it. No, I'm going to add some more colour to it now. I'll put a few spots of the uh, uh, sky blue colour into the middle, which is the, very similar to the turquoise one I was using earlier, and see if I can make something effective from that. Uh, because the rest of the painting seems to be okay, but I don't seem to be able to make something exciting out of the middle of it. And I'm going to give a little bit of embellishment a try. I've seen this with several YouTube artists uh, using a, uh, a toothpick or a bamboo stick just to do a few spikes and swirls and other things. And uh, yes, I thought I'd try it myself. And now it's time to torch it and see if I can get some of those air bubbles out. The white paint was a very cheap one and unfortunately uh, I've got a lot of air bubbles from it. So I'll continue with the embellishment all the way around. Uh, I'm skipping through, uh, we've deleted quite a lot of that out of this video, so if it looks like I'm jumping ahead, <laughs> you'll know why. So I've got my trusty pot of gold and I'm going to suck some of that colour up into a pipette and put it down the centre of each one of the petals flower leaves, whatever they are, um, to try and add a different pattern again. Uh, to I love the embellishments. Uh, I think a lot of embellishments on these paintings make the difference between something that looks really nice to something that looks mm, quite good. And the trusty toothpick to run a line down through those gold little gold dots that I have put on the picture to uh, yeah just to it actually reminds me quite a lot of what the baristas do on the top of their coffee before they serve it to a customer. A lot of the paints I've been buying here in New Zealand are called Reno Art, and they're cheap. Uh, they're just for me to buy as a practice paint, but this Reno Art Gold is actually really, really nice. I've been quite impressed with how it's come out and I've added it to several of my other paints to give them a more metallic look. So I'll be interested to see how those come out once I start using them as well. Another favourite paint of mine is called Montmartre and it's made in Australia. Uh, there's only one major outlet for it here in New Zealand I've found and they haven't restocked this year so their stocks are getting very low. I really hope that they will be getting some more of the paints in soon. I'm putting a few blobs in the middle now. Uh, I've decided I'm going to try doing a balloon squish dip whatever. I've blown up one of my latex gloves to use. 
and I find it very difficult to tie off the end of it. And I discovered that if I use a small cable tie, I can then tie off the end, cut off the piece that sticks out, and it keeps all the air inside the glove for me. Well, that didn't come out quite as I'd hoped. I've practiced doing this balloon smash a few times, just on pieces of plastic as, as I've got a piece there in front of me. So I'm going to add some more gold paint to the middle and try that again and see if I can get a better effect for the second try. And a little bit of turquoise on top of that just to see if I can get some added colour to it and then just a drop of white to finish it off and uh, yes hopefully this time I'll end up with a better looking centrepiece. I don't want to press very hard either because I'm afraid that it will encroach onto the petal flower effect that I've already got on the painting. And no, that didn't come out quite as I'd hoped it would. So I'm going to use my toothpick again and do some more embellishing and see if I can make the centre look something more to my liking. camera down to show you a close-up of what the finished picture actually looks like. I'm very pleased with it and I can't wait to use my thingy again to see what other colours and patterns I can create. Thank you for coming along to share my video with me. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and remember do more of what makes you happy.